What is going on, all of you growers and smokers out there? It is me, your buddy or pal, Easy Breezy. Hey, Breezy, don't don't go in there. Don't go in there, buddy. Uh, and I am back with another, uh, I don't know, mushroom video, some sort of update. There's my cat. He's getting so big. Uh, today, guys, I wanted to show you a little, uh, a new setup. I'll keep the camera on him. Uh, a new setup that I've been working on here for a little while. And uh, so this is going to be my new colonization, I don't know, dresser, I guess. This is currently set up in my room. Uh, I'm still moving things around in the grow room, so I don't really have a spot for this yet. I'm trying to get some more tents in there and stuff like that, so it's a little bit messy right now. But let me show you what I've gotten so far. I just bought these today. I got these little automatic lights here that come on. They're motion censored. And I got these in these three drawers here. They come on automatically when you, uh, they're motion sensor. So yeah, you guys know how it works. I haven't cleaned this out yet, so don't worry about all these little things in the bottom. I only bought three of them because I just wanted to test out and see how it would work. But I thought it would be really cool because when you colonize, and, you know, it's supposed to be dark in, dark in there. And these go off after one minute of time uh, passes by. They'll go off automatically too. Three AAA batteries. It's really not bad. I think I paid like 20 bucks for three of them. And the batteries were included. Plus they came with little uh, 3M command strips that you can hang right on there. So what I'm thinking is this is a five drawer dresser. And my thoughts is the top one is going to be for my uh, uh, agar plates. These two, the the two next ones in line, I was going to say middle, but they're not middle. These are going to be for my BRF jars, which I am getting back into doing BRF again. I don't know why, but... And uh, these last two here are going to be my grain bags. Uh, these, I think, are empty still yet. Uh, these are all currently empty. For now, I'm going to have to clean this last one way up. Uh, I might have to actually replace that or align it with something. Yeah, it's starting to actually break down here. So I'm going to have to do some work on this drawer here. But that's okay. Let me know, though, uh, what you guys are thinking. If you see this one already went out. Let me know what you guys think about uh, this little setup. If that's something you guys would do. And this one here, actually, I need to fix that a little bit, too. I'd like to get it pretty airtight. Not airtight, but uh, uh, a little more tighter than that. Let me know what you guys think, if I should add anything, if you got any ideas of what to add to make it more cooler. I'm not done with this yet. Um, I'm not done adding things to it yet. I was almost thinking of putting some sort of uh, glass pane over this or uh, uh, what the heck is it called? The plastic one. Uh, I'm drawing a blank. Anyways, let me know in the comments below if you think that'd be a good idea. Maybe put a couple little holes in there. Uh, some breathing holes that way less things could get in there uh, if that's possible uh, despite all of my securities that i have to prevent that already but let me know what you guys think if that's a cool idea i mean i could probably get some sort of light system in here too i could probably set something up where i could actually turn these into colonization and fruit and chambers all at the same time that might be slightly annoying but i could probably figure something out uh but anyways, let me know what you guys think. If you haven't already voted on the community tab for the next grow, be sure to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to end this episode off here. So if you like this type of content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep on growing, keep on smoking. Catch you guys in the next episode. See you later.